Welcome back. Today is a really special day. I'm feeling very in the holiday spirit today. Today we're going to be doing a French girl holiday makeup look and this video is sponsored by one of my favorite skincare brands in the whole wide world, La Coeste. And I've actually worked with them in the past and today I'm really excited to work with them again and show you guys how to take care of your skin for the holidays, how to create the most simple, beautiful, minimal French girl makeup look for the holidays. So I did say I was in the holiday mood and the holiday spirit and that's because I have some very exciting news to share with you. Not only is La Coes sponsoring today's video, but they're also offering you guys a very generous 15% off of your purchase from now until the 30th. And you can use the code BREE15 at checkout. And if you stay to the very end of the video, you're gonna find out how you can enter the giveaway that La Coes and I are doing. But I'm gonna be giving away um, one of my Simplicite makeup pouches that I personally use. You can find these in my Etsy shop. Giving away Lock OS's one of their uh, revitalizing facial oils as well as the white jade gua sha and it couldn't be a better time of year for that because i think we all need a little bit of giving uh in our life as well as some lovely luxurious very sweet facial oil and massages so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the first step of preparing your skin for a beautiful holiday makeup look and that is using the amazing facial oil and giving yourself a gua sha massage. It's really hard to say. Try saying that five times fast. It's really hard. The first thing that you want to do is cleanse your face properly and I've like double cleansed my face using my favorite Indie Lee cleanser which I will link everything in the description box below for you so there's absolutely no question about what I'm using and then I use the Josh Rosebrook Daily Acid Toner to tone the surface of my skin. Look at my skin without makeup on. It's got some bumps. It's definitely got lots of texture. I have redness and capillaries around my nose. I know that the gua sha is meant to drain the lymph nodes, the lymphatic nodes that are in your face and help to reduce puffiness, um, help to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and just basically shape your face as well. I'm here to testify that this actually does powerfully work at transforming the look of your skin and revitalizing it, which we all need right now because of wearing masks and the transition in the weather. So the first thing I do, I have very clean hands, I have a very clean face, and with gua sha you really don't want to use a ton of oil. You don't need much at all. It's deceptively smooth and silky, the, the facial oil. I just put like one, two drops in my hand to start off with, and I kind of just rub it on my palm, rub it on my fingers, and I start tapping to apply because if you overdo it with the oil there's no turning back from that you can always add on a little bit more but you can't really take it off you'd have to wash your face again i would always pat it on my lips and it covers more of your face than you might think so i just kind of like pre pat it in pre preparing my face and i did see on another youtube video that with gua sha a lot like the number one mistake that people do is they use too much oil on their face to try to pull you want a little bit of you want a little bit of give now, certainly you don't want your skin to be super dry that you're just like ripping through <laughs> your your skin and pulling it harshly you know i'm going to use one more drop do that again especially right around my hairline, but not too much. On my lips, on my neck. If you were just coming out of the shower, of course you'd do this on your decolletage as well and on the back of your neck. Would be so lovely. Okay, now we're ready. And this tool is so beautiful. I just love it, it's white jade. And you can really like kind of hold your skin here, but not too tightly. And you just want to pull, almost like you're gonna like shed a layer of skin, if you know what I mean. You're just pulling back and I kind of do like one side of my face and then the next. You want to make sure that it's all like the fluid is kind of like traveling down towards your heart and that's the case as well. When you're giving yourself a dry brush massage, you make the lymph fluid drain towards the heart. So this is what you're doing here. I would say it's medium to firm pressure that you'd apply and you're just going all the way down. The cool thing about the jade is that, and around the holidays, <laughs> that puffiness is really going to start to show. 
so then I do the other side of my face. I don't know if there's a totally wrong way to do this. If I'm doing something extremely incorrect in the video, please comment below. Let me know how you gua sha and how you would recommend others to try gua sha. Have you gua sha? Are you a part of the gua sha club? It feels amazing by the way. <laughs> okay, that's all set. I even did my nails for you guys. Do -do -do -do. Okay, <laughs> so now we're ready for the makeup. And like I said, everything will be linked in the description box below. I am not going to be using a full foundation for a couple of reasons. One, if you're attending a holiday event, chances are you're going to be wearing a mask if it's small and intimate. Or if you're attending a holiday event on Zoom, you know, it's like here up and what's the point of doing full face makeup, like full foundation. So I'm going to be using the RMS Uncover Up Concealer in shade 22. I'm just going to use a little bit around the areas of my face where I tend to have the most redness and it is oil based so you can actually feel it glides on seamlessly with the Lacoste facial oil, it just kind of melts in together. I always get my nose holes. You guys know if you've been a fan of this channel for any length of time, I talk about nose holes a lot <laughs> when I apply concealer. I just do a little bit here and it looks cuckoo at first, but then I just gently blend it in under my eyes. Look how seamlessly that blends in because of the facial oil. It's really all about the skincare, and that's very French as well. And that's what I used to do initially. I didn't really use foundation a lot, but then I got really hooked on Ilia and um, their SPF. So now I'm going back to sort of just like the minimalist concealer look. The next step is going to be the eyes and that's kind of the hardest part. So I like to work my way down. So I'm gonna start off with my brow pencil. I'm gonna take the spoolie and shape and fan my brows out. It's not very sharp, but you don't really need it to be that sharp. I got my mirror here. And you just want to delicately fill in where you most need it. I always tend to need it on the bottom line of my brow. Then I like to kind of slightly arc it. I know it's kind of hard to see. Slightly arc it at the top. Don't go too, too heavy, okay, with your brows. And keep in mind, when you finish the whole look, it doesn't seem as heavy. Everybody's brows are super different anyway, so it's like very hard to give advice about how to how to do this for you but it's almost like you're using a brow powder with this pencil because it's so soft and again with the facial oil it just melts right in and if you are using facial oil this is a tip I will give you is that whatever makeup pencils or products you're using like eyeliner and things like that they just come out a little bit better that oil just helps it to glide on so you might accidentally use too much when you don't intend to so just just be careful. I think brows are one of the most important parts of a makeup look. You don't have to use any brow product. You could just fully them out, shape them out, and be done with it, but I like to fill mine in for just extra effect. Okay, the next step that we want to do is going to be the hardest step, and that is the eyeliner. I've got two different eyeliners I'm going to be using. One is um, Zuzu, and it's a brown liner, and then the other is the Benacost, the same brand as the eyebrow pencil, and it's black. So what I'm planning to do is a bit of a cat eye. So let's give it a whirl and see how this goes. But the first thing I'm going to do is use the brown to do like a bit of a definition on my eyelid. And I don't need it to be super perfect. It's not meant to be a perfect line. I just want that extra kind of almost like an eyeshadow effect. So because this is for a holiday party, you guys. And again, it just blends right in. You don't want to wipe it all away, but you certainly don't want it to be rigid. Okay, here we go. <sighs> steady on, Bree, steady on. Now, with the cat eye, everybody's eye is different, but you want to take this bottom lash line here, and you're almost going to try to follow it up like that, and then you would fill in going back this way. So... It's like a little flick, a little French girl flick. And then you just kind of slightly fill in any gaps that you have. Okay, Whew. that's hard to do. It's a bit scary. Now I will show you a little trick here in a second. Now the other eye. Okay, they're not perfectly even. It's very hard to get them perfectly even. 
Then you take, if you want to, you can take a, your fingernail and just slightly drag it out. Perfect. Same thing on the other side. Okay. So now we're going to be a little more festive, in my opinion, and we're going to do a bit of gold. I think gold shimmer on the eyes is really beautiful. So I've got this honeybee, it's like a honeybee pot, satin sheets. It's a loose powder. It's very, very, very shimmery and gold. So be careful with it because it can be a lot. And then I'm just taking my really nothing special brush here. You can see how much I care about makeup. Tools, I mean, so I'm dipping it in the pot. This stuff will go all over your eyelashes, which is why I have not done my mascara yet. And the thing is, if you go for like my color eyes and my shape face, if I go too far into the corner here, it shrinks my eyes. It like, it's not it's not a good visual effect so I really like to start here at the center of the eyelid and just lightly dab it on and go into the corner and then whatever excess is on your brush you can lightly go into the corner but you want the majority of it to be like right above your pupil and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side okay we're gonna create some definition the next Thing we're gonna do is I have my um, RMS Beauty Hidden Desire palette. There's this really pretty dark brown but it has like a lot of shimmer to it and so I'm gonna take that and like super lightly dab it. Like, you really don't want to use much and again just tap it off. I'm gonna go on my the bridge here and then I'm gonna blend that in in a second. You really don't want to use very much because then it starts to look like it, it starts to look a little much in my opinion so making sure the other side is clean i'm just going to blend it in and just make sure you don't smudge your cat eye but if you do you can always go back in but you want a really smooth blend and use your finger if you have to now the other side okay see how that's like blending beautiful so i'm going to be using my favorite mascara from elia beauty and it smells so good i love that smell because if you got some of the eyeshadow on your eyelash, it's not really going to be a big issue for you. You'll, you'll just cover it up with mascara. Okay, we're getting a good coat there. A good foundation. This is like a precision mascara, in my opinion. You can really build the crap out of this and coat every eyelash so beautifully and so perfectly. It's not even funny. And then I like to just dab the bottom since we're doing holiday party. Okay. Ooh, that's fun. See, look at the glamour. Other eye? The amount of mascara that you apply really changes the look, in my opinion. So, like, if you did a very light just on the top, it's a very daytime look. But in the evening, you really want to glam it up. You want to make sure that it's, like, bedroom eyes, even though it's a holiday party. <laughs> That might be a little much for a holiday party, but you know what I mean. And again, the great thing about using a facial oil is that you are going to be very hydrated and if you make any mistakes with your makeup, it just glides right off because you've done such a good deep facial, which I definitely made some mistakes with my mascara here. Keep some Q-tips handy. And then you can go back in and just wipe off any extra little mascara and flyaways. Yay! If you're going to a party where you're gonna be wearing a mask, I would just say do lip balm. This is again why I didn't use a lot of makeup on my face because I don't really need that much makeup. I'm actually gonna use the Hidden Desire palette. Again, I'm gonna use this blush that comes with it because it's kind of shimmery and shiny, but I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. So I just dab it on my finger. And for me, for my shaped face, I need to be as far away from my nose as possible. If you have a rounder shaped face or you don't have high cheekbones and you have more rounder cheeks, you can actually do the apples of your cheek. And even though this is a powder blush, again, because you've given yourself a facial oil massage, it blends in very well with just using your fingers. You can make it look super flushed, naturally flushed, as you can see. I do have a little zit there though, which is what that redness is. No one will know. No one will be looking. With masks again, really, it's like all about this, right? It's all about the eyes and the eyebrows. Okay, now that we have a natural flush that we've blended in, I'm also going to use the um, RMS highlighter which is a very cool tone which is gonna be a little bit opposing to the gold tone on my face but 
I like that idea. So just a little bit. And then again, you're going to apply it um, just above, like right here in this kind of white area with your hand. I dab it on first to make sure I get it in the right spot. Too much highlighter can really make you look funny. And if you use the wrong color of highlighter for your skin tone, it just applied in the wrong spot. It can seem a little bit strange, like super fake. So you need the littlest bit of these beautiful natural products because they go such a long way. Then the final step is to do your lips. I have this beautiful Ilia lipstick. It is in the color, it's the color block lipstick in the color Roomba and it's to me the perfect holiday shade. And this goes with all different skin tones and skin types in my opinion. So we've got our lipstick here. First thing I'm going to do is just apply a little bit. Don't be crazy because it's very, very pigmented to the bottom of my lip. Blend it in first. A little bit more. I'm not trying to create a perfect outline right now. What I'm trying to do is get pigment on my lips so that I can actually blend it in with my finger. But if you go over slightly, that's okay because we have Q-tips and we can just wipe it off. Once I've like really built in a good foundation here of lip color, I'm going to go back and add just a little bit more. It's almost like wine on your lips, you know what I mean? Blend it in and then take your Q-tip, clean Q-tip, and you just want to wipe off any excess. Okay, and that is the look. It is the French girl holiday makeup look inspired by beautiful French girls everywhere around the world and using all natural clean beauty and with the beautiful foundation of very nutrient dense facial oil. I again want to say a huge thank you to Lock OS for sponsoring today's video and to remind you guys that whether or not you win the giveaway, you are still a winner to me. <laughs> so cheesy. But you will still get 15% off your purchase using the code BREE15 and you can find the link to purchase Lock OS in the description box below as well as a link to my Instagram and my blog where all the rules and details of the giveaway are going to be listed out clearly. And so just to be clear, two people are going to be winning and it's US based and Canada based and you're going to be getting a pre Lock OS facial oil with gua sha and a simplicite makeup pouch from yours truly. The giveaway will be starting today Sunday November 22nd and going until the 25th. You are going to be following me and following Lock OS as well as tagging three of your friends. There's a few more little rules but I don't want to make it too complicated for you. I just want you to have fun. I want you to be excited about this and to share this with your friends. So if you've got other Francophile obsessed friends like myself and yourself, then definitely let them know about this giveaway. So go follow me on Instagram right now. Go follow LaCoS on Instagram and start the process of entering the giveaway. Two winners are going to be chosen totally at random on the 25th. I'm really excited for you. I super, super, super hope you win this. I'm just gunning for you. I'm rooting for you and I love you so much. I hope you really enjoyed this makeup routine and thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope you're doing really well wherever you are and I will see you guys next week. Bye!